Hello everyone, in the fifth video of our series in solving the final exam uh, for a Revit course, uh, I will show you uh, where we stopped last time when we make the landscape and the, the tower pad and in the last phase we managed to make all the tower, all the slab, all the landscape that's what we reached last time now I will make the frame, that's mean a family design it's a fully parametric frame, that's the result and we're gonna array it in a parametric linear array between the center of the, you know, the side and to the entry of the, you know, the building so what I will do is this guy as a family, so that's the file I'm gonna go file new and then family you can go ahead and define it as a metric, a generic family or furniture, whatever you think, um, whatever you think uh, suitable. I'm gonna go generic model. You can define it as a frame or a furniture, whatever you like. Uh, depend on how you want to categorize it, and you can, you know, create two reference plans that left and right, as we did in the table example, for example and it's um, I, I see it's uh, not really making any sense to make the insertion points uh, not on the edges of that that's what I've done in the previous exam I would prefer to make the insertion point is the corner left corner or the right corner of it and instead of you know grabbing it from the middle which you cannot attach to anything usually you can attach this to or refer this to an edge of the wall like what we've done in here see so again I'm gonna go reference a plane and I'm gonna define a reference plane here to the right and this guy I'm gonna add uh, a dimension to it and then add a parameter to it let's call that length okay now flexing this length and making it let's say two meters and now it's work I'm going to create another reference plane, actually two of them, one here and one here, and creating a dimension from the new reference plane to the old one, that's new to the old, and then you select this guy, and you're going to call it thickness, okay. Now flex the thickness itself, let's make it uh, 50 mil, hit apply, maybe 100 mil, I have no idea, let's go 100 mil maybe, and that's a 2 meters, so, uh, so far so good. Uh, now we really need to, you know, create uh, a, a, a just an extrusion, uh, but before the extrusion we need to like, create another, you know, thickness line, so DI, Again, that guy should go thickness, or you define a new, you know, depth parameter, uh, if you want to call it depth, probably, make more sense, let's call that depth. Alright, and you flex the depth, maybe making it 100 again, and you see if it's working or not, so that's our rectangle. So just create uh, a ex normal extrusion, just pick lines and lock those lines to the reference plane as you go with the outer lines and then trim them like such or fill it them finish that guy and then go to the front elevation and in it just create a reference plane and then again define it with a parameter add a parameter let's call it height and flex that guy again, let's make it, uh, I have no idea, let's say maybe uh, maybe 2000 again uh, too much let's say uh, 1500, it's actually it's crazy, it should be 2000 as a minimum height and I'm gonna make the length, let's say uh, 4000 making a little bit more sense out of the dimension for it, I'm gonna move that lock that dude as such and by that we have just uh, you know an extrusion uh, of a box I'm gonna create a reference plane while I'm here 
and I'm going to define from this point to this point, from the new one to the old one, and apply the thickness parameter to it. Now all what we need is to repeat the steps that we've done, but this time in the extrusion, make sure you are creating a void. The same exact thing, guys, here, instead of the outer lines, and then you know, and then trim. Finish and in the front elevation, make the void to touch this lower level or reference the plane, and that's it, guys. That's the frame we are looking for, and it's really a smart thing to flex. So, I'm gonna make the depth 50 mil and see if it's work. It is, that's the depth actually. I'm gonna make the length, uh, sorry, the thickness also 50, and it's working. Uh, height. I don't know, maybe 1500. Uh, that's too much. Head apply, yeah, it's working. So I'll keep it 18. And the length, maybe we need to go 4000 and make it 3000. And you can see it's worked perfectly. Now I'm gonna go file and then I'm gonna save the family and just add it to the project. that I'm solving the final exam so here if I get inside this guy yeah I'm gonna go with, uh, I don't know frame and just gonna close those guys and I'm gonna load it into the project and you will see that I'm technically holding this dude from the corner as you see that's what I want so I'm going back to level 1 now insert component if you don't see it it's okay just grabbing the corner of it so I'm gonna place one here and then go DI probably I don't know if you want to make it uh, from the interface to the interface so this dude I'm just gonna move it you know probably here as you can see so select this guy and make the height 9600 and the height I'll make it 2.5 meter and the thickness maybe a hundred by a depth of a hundred okay so I'm gonna hit the okay and then get myself uh, the frame here sound of still slow, small actually you probably 150 better with 150 a little bit okay so choose whatever numbers you like I just don't care it's whatever you think it's structurally sustainable probably the height is crazy low so we might need to amend the height, I don't know, maybe 3,500. Yeah, but uh, in the in the in the picture, I think it's really huge. It's almost it's almost a square. I'm gonna go as crazy as uh, 5,000. That's enough for me. And go back to that. And in it again, it's very easy. Just go uh, select that guy. Go array and this dude here now from the first one to the last one so I'm gonna move that guy from here to the face of the building as you can see and instead of two let's make them uh, I don't know a 15 copy of that and you can see it's going really nice that's what we want that's the that's the frame again guys and it's it's a, it's automatically or arrayed uh, parametrically arrayed so whenever you want to change this number just uh, press 20 
and you get the number increase to the to the limit you want and uh, whenever you feel to change any member of that just go edit a group select the guy again you're gonna get edit and instead of 150 you probably give it a 250 and when you change this group member that doesn't apply for that only but when you hit finish it's gonna reflect back to the rest of the array anyway so that's uh, that's it for uh, today's video is very short video and showing you how to design the family for the frame and how to make a parametric array of it thank you very much for watching and have a good day bye bye